In this film we're looking at removing objects in the likes of Photoshop. So we just got a bit of a snapshot image here from my wife's camera, uh, obviously the kind of a water street scene in Venice. And we've got some ugly kind of uh, edges of boats just coming into the photograph on the bottom left hand side here. So this is really what we're trying to kind of get rid of from the photograph. So many ways to actually kind of retouch things within Photoshop. Let's look some of the simplest ways first of all. Uh, let's just take one of the selection tools to begin with and basically just select around that little bit of a boat by just kind of dragging around it. And as you could see here, all we've done is basically created a crawling ants. No real work in the selection, just kind of dragging it about. One of the most advanced and sim simplest ways within Photoshop is just to click into edit and then fill and then kind of making sure that the contents is set to content aware and basically just pressing OK and then Photoshop will do a really good job trying to match in its surroundings because it's right on the edge of the uh, photograph anyway it's basically picking up just that little bit of a kind of a black line and things really but look how s simple that was and in fact it's simpler you don't even need to know the shortcut if you just hit the backspace button and then it brings up the fill straight away and then just pressing, uh, pressing the uh, um, enter button will actually kind of create that look and feel straight away with it. Okay, to make it better, I need to use some of the other tools to actually get rid of that as well. And in that case, I would be kind of clicking onto the stamp clone tool. And all I need to do then at this point is kind of click somewhere um, that I want to kind of copy from. So let's just kind of bring in some of the textures that we have here. And then all I need to do is basically uh, just kind of wipe across it, uh, avoiding any kind of um, repeating patterns. One of the problems that we have when we're creating um, a corrections to an image, like some of these kind of really hot highlights um, burnt out on the um, river, um, we'll kind of look too close at things and we, we kind of, of ignoring what could look like a repeating pattern. So we just show, showed you the clone stamp tool. Let's look at that again, in fact, really. So all we're doing here is basically clicking up the clone stamp tool, which is S, as, as you can see. And basically, left and right brackets will make the uh, brush bigger and smaller. All right-clicking on a mouse, you can actually adjust the size of your brush from there. What we need to do then with the clone stamp tool then is actually select where we want to clone from. In this case, let's kind of click just here onto this dark area, dark area, make the brush a little bit smaller, and then basically just get rid of a natural way. So less is more. You don't always have to just repeat the same area around the image. So for instance, this highlight that we've got here, perhaps we need to actually clone from a more neutral gray te texture elsewhere to start to actually remove it. So when you start to see retouchers work, in fact, they very rarely choose the same spot twice. They'll kind of be just clicking without you even realizing it. And I'm just using a mouse for now, but using the likes of a pen and tab a tablet will make it much quicker for you to actually select from. So looking within the image, and if you get too close, as I said, you can really kind of, um, uh, spend too too much time on the little things so remember to scroll in and out to see where these distractions are these hot highlights on here are definitely a distraction but what i would do is kick uh, pick up the l for lasso tool select around them hit the backspace and the enter button and pretty much it's doing the job for me anyway so remember there's different ways to uh, do it let's just select around here again and just show you another way let's use the patch tool and basically all I need to do now is basically drag, once I've made the selection, so drag around the part I want to uh, patch up, as it were, and put it somewhere else, and then it kind of clones from that direction. We see this used a lot in a lot of facial retouching and so on. So when you've got a big boat like we have here, the first thing I would do, pick up the lasso tool, or L, make a, a very quick selection around the image, probably with a feather of between five and fif 15, depends on the pixelation of your photograph, and then hit in the backspace once more. Remember that brings up the fill command as long as it's not on a different layer. Just pressing okay, 
and then basically what it's doing then it's kind of doing most of the work before we need to go in then and disguise that we just actually had that big patch so now once I've done the basic work S for the stamp tool right bracket to make the brush much bigger alt click in somewhere to bring some of the confusion back in again and then all I'm doing is actually not creating a repeating pattern anywhere um, that could be identified as such really so just kind of really work working through the image in the same way if we just kind of pick up a quick shot of me here um, there's a kind of a guy just on the back now if I tried to clone stamp him without making a selection I'd probably actually make a mess on my jacket so the first thing would be is to make that little bit of a selection and retouching is all based around what is the quickest method in selection especially when it's kind of fine retouching I just picked up uh, as you can see here the uh, quick selection tool and all I'm going to do is stay away from my black coat and basically just pick up this guy who's in the background so straight away um, we've kind of got rid of uh, my coat so I've got a good edge there but I've picked up some of the build of uh, the building behind so I could use another selection tool now the lasso tool perhaps um, or I could use the polygonal lasso tool or the magnetic lasso tool and now if I press the um, uh, minus button as I do it I'm kind of grabbing around the back of the guy's head and I've just basically taken that out of the mix back to the lasso tool and then all I'm going to do is take out the edge of that photograph there so I'm going to re retouch this S for the stamp, stamp tool all I'm going to do now is basically click and clone sub sub something that will look more like it's a part of the build uh, the building as we're going through it and things really so just kind of pushing this all the way through if I use the um, uh, fill command again let's just retouch that for a minute if I use the backspace and I try to do the content aware it's probably going to pick up my jacket and actually start to clone it in so it actually hasn't done a bad job yes my jacket's there but in fact this is a good point to start to start from now and I can actually now start to add in the window that was here we'll fix all that now in a minute let's just start to pick out a bit of a bigger brush all that stone area above again it is a bit of a snapshot image but it'll do good for this demo and just whoop, making sure I'm not picking up any of my jacket but remember what I'm if I spill onto my jacket here because I'm working within the selection it's not painting onto my jacket that's why we were using the um, that's why we used the uh, selection to begin with so it wasn't going to actually retouch onto my jacket we can just get rid of him so let's just deselect that let's zoom out again we can just see the outline of his head a little bit so now just going in once more slightly smaller brush going in there and get rid of the out outline and obviously it depends on what you're doing with the image and things really but for me this is just a kind of a demonstration point for you let's just go in and select make this a little bit more of a blurred area here and we've done our job so again when we start to look at what it looked like originally with the guy's head there now just actually with a minute or so is retouching we've just got rid of it out of the way so think about what is the main part within the photograph that you're trying to re to retouch basic background kind of corrections as we've got here I can even use the marquee tool just to select around the edge of the uh, background and just hit the fill command and this is going to do its job so this is where I would start with this kind of photograph if we look at the bottom here we can see it's very close to the tutu so let's do this part in a few sections still hitting the uh, background um, content aware fill but just you using a bit at a time 
don't try and do it all all at once you'll probably actually fail more often than not and then basically i'm just going to make that little bit of a whoop, wrong button make that a little bit bigger in the selection now going into s and the stamp the stamp tool once more staying away from the actual dress re-click into different black points just to start to bring it in and so we've basically just fixed the image uh, from here with it um, and another way let's say you want to extend the extend uh, uh, the background a little bit so you can see kind of what we've done here let's just kind of as if we've got to tilt the background and you can see we've created some real white space now so again let's we've made the mistake in camera by tilting too much if we would cropped it we would have lost all the beautiful negative space around her so basically what we've done is re-correct the the, ver the vertical of her but we've had to increase the background by doing it so we could go in of course and actually use the clone stamp tool so remember that is s on your um, shortcut and I could go in there and start to retouch all this and so on but again if we want to add some texture to it we could just put the marquee M for the mar marquee tool select a part of the photograph first using that uh, con the content aware fill and there's a good chance we're going to get a better finish because it's going to pick up some of the actual texture of the background as well and avoid all the kind of the repeating patterns with it. So some quick ways there to kind of add in and remove all objects or correct the backgrounds within an image. Um, I think that right hand part there I can almost do in one because she's far away from where she is. Um, once more though, just actually doing the bottom. Uh, of the image there let's go in really close now so we can actually see what else we've got got to do and the first thing this is where we bring the stamp tool back in so s for the stamp tool clicking on the alt key to where we're going to actually clone from straight down line up then and then basically go across and then if we just hit the erase button um, we can't use the erase button because we've cropped we've cropped it so the his, uh, the history won't work that is unless we go back in history and we say um, from here use the history point as such so if we hit the erase tool again now I can hit the erase to history and I can just go in and remove the kind of um, uh, extra cl uh, cloning that I got without needing it as such really so we've looked at how to use the likes of the um, fill command for the content aware we've looked at selecting areas and then basically using the likes of the clone stamp tool and then we've also looked at how we kind of increase the background and retouch that out using a combination of the clone stamp tool and of course the, co the content aware plus of course in the other image we touched on just using the patch tool which we'll cover when we do retouching the face soon.